Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for stopping in today. Um, you are going to be in for a treat with today's thrift haul video. This is going to be from the 10 mile yard sale. Uh, I got a lot of stuff here. Uh, I'm gonna try to get it all done in one video. Hopefully it won't be really, really long. So. Uh, grab yourself something to drink, use the bathroom, grab a snack. You know the drill. You know how my videos can be. <laughs> and come back and join me. Uh, I can't tell you an exact amount that I spent, but I'm going to guess because I did take $300 with me. I'm going to say I probably spent about maybe $230, $240 because I know I had, you know, money left. So I'm going to say about $230. Um, and I got some really, really great items. So let's get into this haul. I'm going to start with some small items. And then I have to figure out where the heck I'm going to put the stuff after I show you. Because the table is full. All right. I got these adorable little cowboy boot salt and pepper shakers. I thought these were adorable, and I immediately thought of my friends Tammy and Dave from Vintage Uprising Texas when I saw these, but I just loved them, so I picked them up. <laughs> They're so cute. Very detailed, might I add. Very, very detailed. Love them. Uh, this I grabbed for myself, um, it, it was, it's that, uh, candle adhesive so that you don't have to use tin foil or paper towels to make the candle stay. Um, I've had this in the past and it works really well, so I grabbed these for myself. Oh, <laughs> I also grabbed this for myself. This is for crafting. And it is called Diamond Dust. And it is actually very tiny pieces of glass. And this can be added to a lot of craft projects for that extra glitter effect. I love this stuff. So I did, and it was $5. And let me tell you, this stuff is not cheap if you buy it um, brand new online. And this is a brand new full container. So... That was a smoking deal. I also found um, a small glass flower frog. Um, I don't recall ever seeing one with this really large center hole. That's pretty big. Um, I just thought it was really cool, so I bought it. I love, I love to grab flower frogs when I see them. Uh, and, well... I'm not even going to ruin it. You'll see. You'll see as this progresses. Okay. I did get a couple pairs of baby socks to put away. Um, they're brand new. I got these little pink ones. And they have the little um, stuff on the bottom, the non-skid, and a pair of yellow ones. So those are for moi. 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 
Oh God, I worked out in my yard yesterday digging up my back flower bed and I got burnt to a crisp, people. Woo wee. It was a hot one yesterday. It was like in the 90s and I loved every second of it. Yes, I did. I picked up this Wexford uh, sugar bowl because I do have an extra lid that needed the sugar bowl. So I was very happy to find this and it came without the lid. So perfect match. Perfect. Love when that happens. Uh, all right. Um, I bought this only because I wanted the uh, Lily of the Valley flowers. I don't care about the bucket. I just wanted the little flowers. So I picked that up for myself. I love Lily of the Valleys. I really need to get some for my for my yard. They do spread like crazy though, so I don't know. Um, I got this adorable little bunny figurine. He looks old to me. He has the red eyes. Um, he's not marked though. But he would be awesome in an assemblage for Easter, so that's why I picked him up. I also got, and, and they are chipped, but I'm going to touch it up. Um, I bought these Flamingo Salt and Pepper Shakers. I just love them. See, here's the chip. Um, I might even try to uh, fill that in with a little bit of uh, polymer clay. Uh, we'll see what happens, but yeah, I had to get those. They're not marked or anything, so I don't know who makes them, but I got those. And I'm just trying to figure out little by little where to put these items without sticking my face right in the camera. All right, so uh, as I was saying, I got these adorable little snowman salt and pepper shakers. They're in perfect condition, no issues. Love salt and pepper shakers. Ooh, hot flash time. Oh dear. It's gorgeous here today. It's supposed to be like 83. It's nice and windy and breezy. I'm loving it. Okay. Can I get a basket? Yes. Two points. All right. Um, then I got this pair of Gonder vases. They're both exactly the same. Um, they're in perfect condition. This is um, where the color did not take. So that was in manufacturing. But yep, they're Gonder. So I picked those up. Let's see if I can, pardon my face right in the camera, guys. I can't help it. Okay. Oh boy, yeah. Whew. Hot flashes suck. I'll be right back. Ooh. <laughs> Still hanging on there, guys. Um, I did get this. This is a beautiful set. There is the sugar and there is the creamer. Just gorgeous. It looks to me like it's hand painted. Um, it has like airbrushing. Look how pretty that is. Um, this is Zio, G O Z Lefton. Uh, yes, it is hand painted. So there is the bottom. Oh my God, I'm like dying. I'm having such a hot flash right now. It's not even funny. Holy moly. Whew. Then I got this set of fall mugs. These are nice size mugs too. Orange inside. They're made by Spectrum Designs 2018. There's this one and this one. They're both in perfect condition. All right, moving on. 
Uh, I did get this. This is a gorgeous cruet. I mean, look how pretty that is. This would look amazing in a bathroom with bubble bath in it or mouthwash. I just loved it. Um, I have no idea who makes it, but it is beautiful. Very well done. I also got this, uh, this box full of vintage bathroom uh, porcelain. We have the uh, soap dish. Goes right on your wall like this. Oops, I got masking tape stuck on my finger. <laughs> now it's on my thumb. So I got that. I got the cup holder and toothbrush holder all in one. So if any of you have a vintage bathroom, these would be amazing. Um, I'm probably going to list all of it on eBay. Then I got the long um, glass shelf. It's about yay wide and about yay long. And these are the brackets that um, hold it up. Love, love, love this shelf. Just a plain long piece of clear glass that goes on those brackets. And then there was the these toothbrush holders here i have two of these so i just bought the whole box of of this stuff so there is that lot <laughs> of goodies i will set that up there uh, then I got this pair. These are gorgeous. Oh, my goodness. This pair of gold. Look at these bud vases. Look how pretty. Aren't they beautiful? Oh, I could not resist. I just think those are so stunning. Love those. Uh, pardon the forehead. Um, so I also got these were one uh one box for one price. All of these items, five pieces for one price, and I can't remember what the price was, but I got this terracotta turtle tea light holder. Right? Look how cute he is. <laughs> and then I also got the three little snails for tea lights. And these are party light. I didn't even realize that till just now. So there's three of these small little snail tea lights. Here's the other one. And... I also got, so these are all party light. This large snail, that would be mama snail, uh, tea light holder. How cute is this lot? Oh my gosh, I love every bit of it. I think this one's tea light too. Yes, it is. Uh, well, it says expressly, so Part of the sticker's missing. So does this tea light sticker say that? Hang on, I can't see. It says, yes. So all of these are, are uh, party light. And I love them. All right. Then I got this amazing Look at this, you guys. 
Look at this beautiful copper coffee carafe. Isn't that beautiful? And it's in fantastic condition. It's like brand spanking new. Show it to you out of the container. Look how pretty. Look at the detailing. Gorgeous. So I got that. All right. Let me slide these things up. Okay. Then I got, this is, these are following me around. Um, this is, oh, this one's got the sticker. This is uh, made in Czechoslovakia. So now I know that they're made in Czechoslovakia. Another tree stump with the squirrel, blue, gold detailing. Yep, there it is. I keep finding these lately. I don't know. <laughs> this is like the fourth one I found, I think. Fourth or fifth. Um, I did find these. Now, I don't know. These remind me of Mexican pottery. Um, these are taper candle holders. Love these. And they are initialed on the bottom with a B have no clue who made them, but I really, really love these. And I am thinking of keeping them, but I'm not positive. Um, these I might put in my outdoor space. I'm not sure. And I will have to give you guys an update on my outdoor space. I have one more thing to get to pretty much complete it. Okay. Then I got this adorable little girl. Look at her, isn't she pretty? I just thought she was so cute. She's in excellent condition. She's not marked. I don't know who makes her, but I know a lot of people really love the girl figurines, so I picked her up. Everybody's outside mowing their grass and you know, moving along out there. It's a gorgeous day. All right. So where I got the little girl, I also got the rest of these items I'm about to show you. I got this beautiful um, marigold carnival glass pitcher. It is gorgeous. It is in perfect condition. I didn't feel any, um, any issues on it at all. Then I got this gorgeous vase. OMG, would you look at that? Is that not stunning? I love the detailing on here. Wow. Gorgeous. Gorgeous piece. Love that. I also got this is the glass is cranberry. Look at this, you guys. Isn't that spectacular? Look at the rainbow of colors. Oh my gosh, this is just beautiful. Mm -mm -mm. I got this beautiful Fenton basket, gold or amber hobnail with the beautiful ruffled edges. There's no chips or cracks, not even a flea bite on any of the ruffles. I, I really gave it a good once over when I purchased it. Beautiful piece. Then I got this gorgeous amber, um, Art Glass Swan. Look at that. Isn't she a beauty? Look at those wings. Oh my goodness. Just beautiful. 
Good size too. Love it. Beautiful. And I also got these two pieces. Um, the other one has a sticker. It says Tuscany Handmade Czechoslovakia. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Oh, how pretty. The lid comes off. And then it has the matching decanter. Now, look at this. Now, it is missing its top. So, I do have... Let me finish showing you this first. I do have this uh, extra one. Now, it will go in there. Um, it doesn't sit like it's a little bit wobbly. But, I mean, it could be used. And, you know, whoever buys this, if they would like me to include this one, I sure will. Um, actually, if you wanted to... You could even maybe um, spray paint this white so that it matches the actual bottle itself. But I thought, you know what? What a gorgeous set these are. I had to pick these up. Beautiful. And, oh, here is the label on this one. All right, then I got this bag of Wade Whimsies. These are the calendar series. Now, we are missing the month of May and July, okay? But it has, for January, there's three snowmen in here. I'll just show you one so you can see what they look like. Then for February, there's a Cupid, and there are two of the Cupids. Um, March, there are, there is a Leprechaun, and there are two of the Leprechauns. April, there is a Rabbit, and there is only one Rabbit with the Easter egg. Uh, June is graduation, and it is this right here. It's like the cap and um, a book or something like that. Then for August, it is a, oh, there's two of the um, graduations. And then for um, August, it's the Sand Castle. And there are two of those. September uh, is the Scarecrow. And I only have one of those. October is the Pumpkin. And there's only one of these with the cat. <laughs> and November is the turkey. And there's only, oh, I guess there's three of the turkeys. Here, here's one that's not in the bag so you could see it better. And then December is the Christmas tree. And there are three of the Christmas trees. So unfortunately, like I said, I am missing May and July. Um, I may try to see if I can find them so that I could make a, a, a one complete set and then perhaps sell the um, extra pieces um, separately. So I'm not quite sure when I'll be um, selling this lot here. But yeah, so. Um, I also got four of these amazing, like, uh, they look like totem poodle, totem poodle, <laughs> totem poodle, 
totem pole faces, but these very awesome cups. And it's a set of four, and they are not marked, but they are redware. And like I said, there are four, and they're all in perfect condition. And I also bought from the same place that I bought these um, mugs. The, the guy's mom made this for um, his dad, her husband. In ceramics. Look at this mug. <laughs> Isn't that cool? She didn't sign it or anything. And it does have a little chip on the bottom. But you don't really notice that. But yeah, I just thought that was so cool. I had to grab it. I had to. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Alright guys, I'm just sliding this stuff over so I can make more room. I did find some amazing um, ceramic um, pieces that someone made. So you know how much I love my ghosts. I did get these two. Oh my goodness, are they not adorable or what? Oh my gosh, they're so cute. So I got those. Oops. Stand up, please. Now this one has um, a light to put inside. Oh my gosh. How cute is this? This one is my favorite. And I, I got to tell you guys, I... The probability of me keeping these ceramic pieces is very high. <laughs> I had to I had to re-glue them onto the um, base with some E6000. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? O-M-G. Oh, I love it. Love it. It's amazing. All right. I do have some things back here on the chair. I did buy some movies. I got these two for my son. Um, the Hills Have Eyes. One and two. One of my favorite movies ever, The Outsiders. What a phenomenal movie. Love it. This one is the two disc special edition. And finally, I found it. Weekend at Bernie's, and this is for my friend Vinny. I am going to send this to him. Uh, we I, we looked for it when we were thrifting in Philly and couldn't find it. Found this at a yard sale during the 10-mile yard sale. So, woohoo! I got it, finally! Yes, I was very happy to find that. Um, I also got... These two little Inesco uh, growing up girls, uh, age three and four, they're in perfect condition. Aren't they cute? They're really cute. Then I got this adorable little ornament. Let me just take the sticker off of here because I wanted to see if it was um, what you call it. Um, what's that guy's name? Oh, I can't think now. Um, what is his name that does the vintage Christmas ornaments? Guys, help me out. No, it's not. It would have his little, um, the little dangle thing on there. But I got this guy. He's, I don't know if he's glass or not. I think it might be plastic. So I got this guy. 
Um, I got these. I thought these, these are all adorable. Look how cute they are. <laughs> then I got this pretty snowman. Look at him. Isn't he beautiful? I thought maybe he was Department 56, but he's not. But he's gorgeous. Then I got the set of three of these guys. Oh, my word. They are so cute. They look like Frosty. Love them. I also got um, this wine opener for myself. I did get one for my daughter and for myself. And then I got this whole basket of metal, the metal tartans that people like to use for crafting. Like there's all different kinds in here. We have ones like this. They look like flowers. We have um these these are these are smaller uh we have the these triangle ones if i can get them undone then we have we have some shaped like this. Here's more of the more of the triangle ones. Then there's these kind. These. And then there was does that go? No, this is a little, this is a different size. There's only one of those. And one of those. So, yeah, I got this whole, this whole thing for the crafters out there that like to use these. So, those are awesome. All right, let me just put these back in here for now so I can keep it moving, trying to keep it moving. Okay, I also got this old vintage whisk. This is a nice one, guys. Look at that. That's big. Um, I got this old... Um, Fold up ruler. Then, for those of you who are who love the farmhouse, I got these two um, galvanized candle uh, holders, sconces, wall sconces. Right? Aren't those nice? Yep. So I got those. And I have some more stuff that I need to grab to show you, so I'll be right back. Alrighty, I am back, and I'm going to try to run through the rest of the items. I got this giant litter pan for the cats. It's like with the high sides and the high back. Um, so that the litter doesn't go everywhere. I do have covers on their litter boxes, but... Um, the covers really don't go to the litter boxes, so it makes it a little bit harder for them to get in there and, you know, so I'm going to use this. Um, I did buy them the, um, the domed one. Um, I didn't, I forgot to show you guys the pictures at, at the end of one of my videos. So I will include those at the end of this video of the two cat items that I purchased at um, some garage sales that I had gone to a few weeks back. 
So I will include those as well today. Um, because we all know I have CRS and I always forget. So I got that and then I got this like brand new cage. So I have two cat cages. One is a big one like this and one is a smaller one. And the smaller one is too small for any of my cats. So I will donate the smaller one or sell it and... I will replace it with this larger one. And I only paid $5 for it. So you can't beat it. So, all right, let me put that under here. If I can. There we go. Now, those big things are out of the way. Okay, smaller items. I grabbed a couple rulers, wooden rulers for myself, because as y'all know, I'm always misplacing my rulers. So I got those. Um, and actually um, my friend Beth at Carolina Princess Sweet Treats and Pretties calls these her measuring sticks. <laughs> Hi Beth. <laughs> I also got this, uh, Homemade ceramic light up Christmas tree. It is lit up. It's a little hard to see in, in the daylight. It's missing a couple lights, but I do have repl replacements to put in there. So I got that. Oh my God, you guys. I also got, hold on, I'm moving my camera. I'm trying to, sorry, trying to unplug this tree so I can move it and show you these other items. You'll remember when I show you. Okay, now this guy does have a little chip, but I will fit, I will touch that up. Oh my God. How cute is this? Yep. You know me, I love some Halloween. I'm probably going to keep this. Now, I have, I now have two of these. But I have to just decide which one I'm going to keep. Remember this little guy? Remember I hauled him a couple weeks back? And I said I was keeping him because I just loved him? Well, now I found another one. It's the same mold. Now this one is made by Georgette in 1985. Um... Something Molds 1977. It begins with a B, I think. Um, I probably can read it on the other one. But anyways, yes. So, I will be selling one of the two of these. I'm just not sure which one. I have to look at the other one to see which one I like best. <laughs> so, I was very excited to find that guy. I also found this really pretty glass jar. I just thought that was really pretty. And you could really use it for anything. It's, it's gorgeous. I love the design of it. It reminds me of, um, you know, when they drop the nail polish on the top of the water and they swirl it and then you dip stuff in. That's kind of what it reminds me of. But I just thought it was really pretty, so I picked it up. I also picked up two bottles of Elmer's School Glue for a quarter a piece. I found this really pretty perfume bottle. It's French, I think. Have no idea what that says. But how cool is that bottle? Very, very unique. I got this gorgeous crystal bowl. Look at that. Isn't that a beauty? I love it. Love that. I also got this beautiful clock. It is General Electric. 
Um, let me show it to you first. And it does work because I had the girl plug it in. I wanted to make sure it worked. Um, I'm just wondering if there's a date on here. I know it's older. I don't see a date anywhere. It's got the model, the volts. Um, but it also has a key back here. I don't know. I'm not exactly sure. Oh, that moves this knob, this um, hand right here. Okay. Got an al This one moves those. Let's see. What time is it? 1.30. I'm going to set it, and then I'll plug it in. So it is 1.30. And I love this clock. This might go in my room. I had to get rid of the other alarm clock every time that I bought, because every time I turned around, it was blinking like the power went out. So there was definitely something wrong with it. But anywho, I need a sip. I need a sip. This is gonna be a long haul video, guys. Oh. Okay. Um, I got this. This is this was from Kirkland's. It is this Christmas tree wine bottle stopper. I got this one with the letter B on it because well you can't really see very well because that's my last name initial is B. I got this bell. I love this little bell. I'm thinking I might hang it outside. I need to put a new string on it though because see the string is starting to break and I don't want the bell to fall off. But look how cool that is. It's like handmade. I love it. Then I got this really cool ashtray. I don't know if someone made it in ceramics, no, it's not ceramics, it's redware. Duh, it's redware. But I just thought it was really neat. You don't have to use it as an ashtray. You could use it as a trinket dish or put your, che your cheese, <laughs> you could put cheese in it. I meant to say your change or your keys, <laughs> but you could put cheese in it if you wanted, cashews whatever floats your boat. I got this pretty little dish. It's got little strings on it from the, uh, the string on that. This is uh, made in Germany. I just thought it was really pretty. There's the Germany. Oh my, all right, let's put this over here. Okay, flower frogs. I got this whole bag of vintage flower frogs and picks. I like the picks. We have two of these. They look brand new for crying out loud. This really large one, there's something stuck in there. Look at that. Then I got this one. I've never seen one like that before inside of here. Isn't that neat? And then, like I said, there's the picks. And then inside here was a bunch of um, chain and I don't know, but I could always use chain for my, um, my hanging plants. So that was a very good find. Awesomeness. Um, I got this. Oh my gosh, you guys look at this. It 
is this not absolutely gorgeous? Not to mention that it comes with matching taper candle holders. Holy cow! That was a great find, if I do say so myself. Yes, it was. Got this. This is a vintage um, brass letter holder. You can see it's got some patina going on. You could always clean it up, though, if you wanted to with some Brasso or some Tarnex. That was a cool piece. I did get this, uh, and I thought of my friend. Uh, it, it needs a new battery. My friend, is it, is it Martha that likes the butterflies? Look at that ornament. And it does light up, but it's, it's in need of new batteries. So I thought that was very, very pretty. And I also got this ornament. Is this glass? I'm not sure. It's West Germany. So I got that. Then I got this. Now, this goes on a single glass candle holder and turns it into a candelabra, so to speak. I saw this for the first time on Scott's channel, the old curiosity shop. If you're not familiar with Scott, which I can't imagine why you wouldn't be, I will be sure and link his channel in the description box. He is not only my friend, but he is a wealth of knowledge and you have to check out his channel. But yes, so that was a very good find. I love this. I also got this gorgeous bowl. I, I, I want to say it's Fenton. Oh, no, this is Imperial Glass. It has the IG on the bottom. This gorgeous white satin glass bowl. Um, I have to clean it. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, my goodness. It is beautiful. Um, I do not believe it glows. I think I checked it already, but yeah, I'm going to clean it and just gorgeous. Look at that. Ah, oh, it's beautiful. Then I got this amazing art glass bowl. Holy cow. Look at that. Now there is no sticker, but it's awful shiny like Murano. Look at that. Polished up gorgeously. Look at that. Oh my word. Wow. That is a, an amazing piece. This will definitely be an offer up. That is a stunning piece right there. Um, I did find some jewelry. I got lots of jewelry here, guys. All right, so I got this gorgeous set. Let me show you. This is the necklace. It has that kind of a clasp the hook and it just hooks right into one of these whoops one of these loops here and it comes with the earrings these are clip-on earrings um 
I don't see a name on this anywhere, so I really don't know who makes it, but it is a gorgeous set. Then I got this cool pin. I got this pretty bracelet. I love this bracelet. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? I got these earrings. Let me take them out. Don't know who makes these either, but they are clip-on. Then I got these. These are all clip-on. These were the ladies' uh, mother's um, items. I got, I got all of the, most of these I got all from one person. These with the screw backs. And then we got Okay, this is a bracelet. Let me show you. And then it has these earrings. They all have to be cleaned up. Then I got these earrings. These are screw back as well. Wow, a lot of jewelry. This is a beautiful set. Look at this, you guys. Look at this necklace. Hang on. This is the clasp. You know this is old. And it comes with the earrings. Screw back earrings. Wow, yeah, I did get some amazing jewelry. Here's another set of earrings. And then there's this necklace. And it has this kind of a clasp. Let's put it in here like this. And then snap it. Wow, guys, I got a lot of jewelry from this one lady. This comes with matching earrings. Those are the earrings, screw back, and this is the necklace. It has that kind of a clasp. Come on now. I'm trying to figure it there. I don't know how it hooks, but anyways, there's that one. Then we got and that clock is working wonderfully. Look at this. This is beautiful. It's like a lariat. It's got that kind of a clasp. And it, co it has the matching earrings, the screw back earrings. One more necklace and earring set. Oh, this is gorgeous. Holy crap.
Look at that. And then these are the matching earrings, screw back earrings. Wow. Holy cow. I got some great jewelry. The last piece is these earrings. So I got all, these are clip-on. They're not marked. But they're blue. Um, I got all of this jewelry from one woman, except for a couple pieces. Um, but I think everything else was from one lady. And that was all I bought at her sale was the jewelry. And I wish I could I would have gotten there sooner because she had more. Like, she had a ton, but she had a ton more and it all sold. I mean, not all because obviously I got a bunch, but I bet there was some even better pieces. I got this beautiful scarf, silk. I think it's silk. It's made by Mosey, M-O-S-I. I got these little ornaments, little snowmen ornaments. There's a couple, one missing, snowmen, and there's a Santa missing, but they're still cute. Love them. I got these. These are Ranson Vera Flame gas candles. And there are two pair in here. There's a pair on the top and another set underneath. So those were really cool. Loving those. I sold a set of these before. But, yep. Now the box is broken, but, you know, there it is. Then I got this bag of sticky-backed uh, numbers for crafting. I got this vintage tablecloth. Look at this, guys. It's really in fantastic condition. I don't see any holes or anything. Um, I don't even see any stains. So... Yeah, this is a beautiful, beautiful tablecloth. So I picked that up. Ugh. Oh, yep, there's one little hole there. Just noticed it. Um, I bought this box of bags from this girl. These, uh, I, I actually was about to order some and then I got this whole box, this whole box full. So that saved me some serious money right there. So that was, I love finding useful items. All right, guys. And the last uh, stuff that I got are some die cuts. We have, these are one-sided. We have a reindeer. This is a two-sided one. We've got Santa. The other side is all screwed up from tape. We've got this one. This one's two-sided. The other side is a mess from the tape. Um, I don't see any makers. Oh, this is Eureka. This one is Eureka. This one, I don't see anything on it, the reindeer. And I don't see anything on the Santa Claus one either. But this one's Eureka. 
Then I got this one. This one's got some tape issues. It says Garrus on there. Then we got this one. This one's uh, one-sided. I don't see a name on it. But I think he had an arm on over on this side. See, see the little metal thing? I think his arm, his other arm was attached to that. It must have got ripped off. Then we have this one. This one's this one is Grand Award. It's two-sided. So I got those. And then last but not least, I did get a few albums. I got Elvis Christmas album. I got Elvis Sings Flaming Star. And Perry Como Christmas Album. So, guys. Wow. That was a long haul. I may end up splitting it up into two parts. I'm not sure yet. Once I go through and edit, I'll see how long it is, and then I'll decide from there. But yeah, I did get some amazing items. I was very excited. So if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to share, comment, subscribe. <laughs> And I will see you very soon in the next one because I do have more videos to film. I have uh, Goodwill and Salvation Army. And tomorrow there's going to be an amazing estate sale that Mario is um, running. So I've got to go to that. The glassware and the pictures. Holy cow. So I will be going to that tomorrow before my sale. So I've got to put this stuff away and sell more stuff to make room. <laughs> so I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye.